Hello, welcome back to Sprouted Dreams. I wanted to show you some close-up details of this elf outfit that I created for this year's Anime Expo in Los Angeles. And I'm really pleased with how it came out. I started with this basic dress and then you can see here with the belt off, I added several other pieces. This dress actually is a compilation of several shirts um, and several dresses that I tore up and made into this. Oh, great. Siren. Yay. Anyway, I, uh, the dress did not have sleeves either, and it was a large, so I took in the sides here a bit, and then I added these sleeves. Now, I did not do the most fabulous sleeve application, but it gave me a little bit of closure here on the side and I wanted to have a sleeve. I didn't really want my shoulder hanging out. So um, this looked a little bit frumpy so I added some strips here. I also changed the um, the inside of the skirt. Now it doesn't look too fabulous here on the inside when I show you all my boo-boos but I changed it from a flat hem across here to a high front low back and then it has this other light sort of chiffon that goes over the entire dress and I shortened that a bit and added those pieces uh, again to this waistline here and I'll put pictures of what this all looked like together. I added some beads here to some of the fringe pieces um, but of course I was unable to add enough um, but it all matched really nicely and so I was quite pleased with the dress. I had a completely different crown done and then I did this crown that has some glass main pieces. Again, I would have done this as a tutorial but I changed so much along the way. But this was the elf crown and then I secured it with more of this fabric in the back and then I added a braided piece that went with my hair. And then I also had several of these that I brought over here. I had even more. I had these little tiny mini clips like this. And then I added some more of this wire and then just put some shiny beads so that I could put that into my hair along with the crown. And then it just added a place where the light could kind of catch all of these little beads and stuff. And then I needed a way, of course, to hide all of this sort of gathering on the waist here. And so I needed a belt. And this came together at the last minute. But oh my goodness, look. This green matched perfectly. And then I just put a bit of this, it's not bias tape, seam tape um, that was purple that matched with the purple in the dress. I hope you can see that this color here has some of this purple. And then I made this bag to go with the dress and this belt. And then it has just this easy way to get in. I have a little safety pin here to um, put my keys. But I also made this um, sketchbook so that I could, which also kind of matches, sketch the people while I was there. I really liked, uh, let's see, this one was a really nice sketch. Anyway, um, so I did that, but it also gave structure and stability to this belt um, because no one can kind of get in there. It has some fringe um, with this little button here, no one was able to pickpocket because it really stayed on there quite uh, securely. So I made these belt loops and this was another shirt. See, there's a little belt loop there. And then this goes around. And then that made for a really nice bag and I made sure it was enough room that I could carry my credit cards, phone, um, car keys, you know, everything onto there. And then to top the whole thing off, where are they? Oh my goodness. Now I'm not gonna find them. Where are my gloves? Oh dear. Okay, here we go. Here are the gloves and these um, draped down and gave a really nice sort of flare. And again, I'll put pictures at the end, but it was a bit long to kind of do a YouTube short on, but also I was just really pleased. I, I have not made a cosplay outfit before and I was really 
pleased with how this came out. And I, I had elf ears, and like I said, I will put some pictures at the end of what everything looked like, but totally happy with how it came out. Um, perhaps I'll make another one, and I'll do more of a tutorial, but I tried so many different sewing applications, and they looked terrible. Um, I don't want to show you those. They were awful. Um, they ended up too bulky and heavy, and once I switched to this chiffon, I had not done draping before, so in order to make these pieces sort of hang properly, it was much more difficult to do. So again, I'll put pictures at the end, and I hope you enjoy this little bit. And yes, I did the gloves on the last video, and then I didn't use those. These, um, This lace here was an off-white, and I colored it with acrylic paint. I just sort of used the paint almost like a dye. And then um, that is the same lace that I used here on the purse that I did with acrylic paint again, and then just stitched that on. I was going to do more beadwork, but I just ran out of time because I was working on these other costumes that didn't really work out. So again, I will post more info if you guys are interested, but I hope this gives you a quick little insight into what I wore this past weekend. Hope you enjoy it, and I will have another video for you real soon. Until then, happy fairy gardening, or happy fairy dressing, or elven dressing, as the case may be.